All right, in this particular lesson, what we're going to do is investigate arithmetic series. I'm calling this module one because I'm going to do a second lesson with just some more examples. Uh, the definition of an arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Uh, so for example, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, uh, etc. is an arithmetic series because uh, I'm adding the terms of an arithmetic sequence. So for the series above, uh, the sum of the first six terms are s of subscript 6 is equal to 36 because 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 is 36. Uh, the, the formulas that we're going to investigate and use is that the sum of the first n terms, s subscript n, is defined by two formulas. Uh, Sn is equal to the number of terms divided by 2 times 2 times the value of the first term plus the number of terms minus 1 times the common difference or uh, the sum is equivalent to the number of terms divided by 2 times the value of the first term plus the value of the last term. Uh, and here's some definitions. You can pause the video if you'd like to look at that some more. Uh, here's the three examples we're going to do. And again, you could pause the video here if you'd like to in order to investigate this all by yourself. First question says, determine the sum of the first nine terms of the series, negative 11 plus negative 7 plus negative 3 plus 1 plus etc, etc. In some cases, what you may find is the quickest and easiest and the most uh, clear is just to actually just solve the problem without any formulas. The first nine terms would be negative 11 plus negative 7 plus negative 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 11 uh, plus 13, plus 17. You could just add those all up and you'd get a sum. And I believe the sum here would be equivalent to 45. Another method is to use the formula. And since we have two formulas, you want to find out or, or investigate which formula is going to be the most useful. Uh, I'm going to highlight different things that we know. Uh, for both formulas, what we know is uh, the value of the first term which is T1. So we know the value of the first term, highlighted in blue here, is negative 11. We also know in both cases that we're trying to find out where we know that n is equivalent to 9. <clears throat> okay, so that is n. Uh, what we don't know is the value of the last term, so tn in the second uh, example. And we also don't know what the common difference, or we do know the common difference, sorry, the common difference is 4. Uh, so in this particular case, we can see that we know everything in this first formula. We are missing something in the second formula, so we're not going to use the first formula. All right, so let's go ahead and set it up and just evaluate. So uh, the sum of the first nine terms, so I could put sum of subscript 9, is equivalent to 9 divided by 2, bracket, 2 times the value of the first term, which is negative 11, <clears throat> plus, and in brackets, uh, number of terms minus 1 times the common difference, and the common difference in this case is 4. And if you go ahead and evaluate this, uh, we can find out the, the sum of the first nine terms. So that's equivalent to 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. 2 times negative 11 is negative 22, plus 8 times 4, uh, which is equivalent to uh, 4.5, times negative 22 plus 32, which is the sum of the first nine terms, is 4.5 times 10. And as we can see, using either method, the sum of the first nine terms is 45. All right, let's look at the next example. The next example says, determine the sum of the series 19 plus 16 plus 13 plus et cetera, et cetera, all the way down to negative 98. So again, let's investigate which formula is going to be more useful. Um, in this particular case, what we do know again is the first term. The first term is 19. Uh, what we do know in the case of the first particular formula is we do know the common difference. The common difference is going to be negative 3 because that's what each value is going down by. Uh, what we don't know in both cases is n. We don't know the number of terms. Uh, what we do know in the second example is the value of the last term in that series. So it's 98. However, in both cases we need to know how many terms there are. In other words, we don't know what n is what number term negative 98 is. Uh, what we have done in previous examples when we investigated arithmetic sequences is we've investigated this particular formula that I'm drawing upon right now, uh, which says the value of any term, of the general term, is equivalent to the value of the first term plus n minus 1 times a common difference. So in this particular case, we do know tn. We know the value of the term we're investigating, so I want to find out what n is for that. That's negative 98. We do know the value of the first term, which is 19. We do know the common difference of this particular sequence, which is negative 3. So if I use this formula, I should be able to find out and isolate and find out what the value of n is for this particular series when the value is negative 98. Uh, so negative 98 is equivalent to 19 plus 
uh, n minus 1 times negative 3. If I backwards distribute this, I have negative 98 is equivalent to 19 minus 3n plus 3, which means negative 98, sorry, is equivalent to negative 3n plus 22. If I subtract 22, what I'm going to get is that negative 120 is equivalent to negative 3n. If I divide by negative 3, I end up getting that n is equal to 40. So in this particular case, the value of n here is 40. It's the 40th term. That happens a lot more quickly than having to list out every single number, every single number, every single number until you get to negative 98. Uh, so now we know that n is 40. And what I'm going to do is use the second formula. You could actually use uh, either formula, uh, but I'm going to use the second one because we haven't investigated its usefulness yet. And it looks a little bit uh, simpler in a way. Okay, so using that second formula, we have the sum of the first 40 terms is equivalent to, and we know that there's 40 terms, so that's going to be uh, 40 over 2 times the value of the first term, which is 19, plus the value of the last term, which is negative 98. So in this particular case, we have the sum of the first 40 terms is equivalent to 20 times, and 19 plus negative 98 is negative 79. So in this particular case, if I multiply 20 and negative 79, I get the sum of the terms is negative 1,580. So there you go. Uh, next example and last example says determine the first term of an arithmetic sequence if the common difference is 5 halves and the sum of the first 13 terms is negative 52. Uh, so if I draw a visual of this, what it's saying is that the sum of the first 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 terms. The sum of those terms is negative 52. And we know uh, that the common difference is 2.5, is what it's going up by, or 5 halves. Um, now, what we could do is guess and check, because we're trying to find out what the first term is. But that would take a long time, because you just guess what the first term is and add 2.5 to it until the sum would eventually be negative 52. That would take a really long time, but you'd also, you would definitely get the correct answer. So what you might want to do is actually investigate which of these formulas is going to get us there faster. Uh, so in this particular case, we do know, uh, we, we don't know the value of the first term. What we do know is that the common difference is going to be 2.5 or 5 halves, so that might be useful. Uh, we do know the sum of the first 13 terms. We know that that is uh, negative 52. So I'm going to put negative 52 for the sum of the series. Uh, we don't know the first term, but we do know the number of terms. We know that the number of terms is going to be 13. So that's n. So in this particular case, uh, as you can see, the first formula only has one unknown, which is the value of the first term. The second formula needs the value of the first term and the value of the last term. So the second formula will not be useful in this particular case. So let's go ahead and substitute all the values into the first formula and solve. So we know the sum of the series is negative 52, and that's equivalent to the number of terms, which is 13. And that's divided by 2 times 2 times the first term plus, again, the number of terms, which is 13, minus 1, times a common difference, and I'm going to call the common difference uh, equivalent to 2.5. Okay, so we are getting close. Uh, now we just need to solve and be careful. So we have negative 52 is equivalent to 6.5 times 2 times the first term, uh, plus 12 times 2.5. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to simplify. Negative 52 is equal to 6.5 times 2 times the value of the first term, uh, plus 30, because 12 times 2.5 is 30. If I expand the 6.5 or distribute the 6.5 in, negative 52 is equal to 13 times the first term, uh, plus, and 6.5 times 30 is 195. Uh, so if I go ahead and subtract 195, I have that negative 247 is equivalent to 13 times the first term. Divide by 13, and I'll get that term 1 is equivalent to negative 19. <clears throat> so that would be your first term. Uh, so negative 19 is your first term, and you can continue going up by 2.5s. Uh, negative 16.5, negative 14, and you would see that that sum eventually of the first 13 terms would actually be negative 52.